Starting scheduled cleaning. Hey guys, what you see here on the background is the latest gadget, the mic got us. It is the Roborock SX Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. This is not the first in its kind, but there is a whole line of such robotic vacuum cleaners uh, that went before. So the first, first generation. this is the third generation, which means it promises improvements and the improvements is what we'll be sharing with you about this specific vacuum cleaner first of all why should you get a robotic vacuum cleaner well the obvious thing is so that you won't have to do it yourself the specific thing about this one the added value is that it does not only vacuum but also mop your house like now mike was busy in the kitchen now we're resting here on the couch. So Mike just gave an order to this vacuum cleaner to go to this specific zone, as they call it, which is the kitchen right now where Mike has been working and gave it an order to vacuum clean specifically only in the kitchen, as you're probably hearing it on the background. Just one of the things that you can do with this thing. Send it to targeted zones where it will go and clean. So the first thing that comes to your mind is probably the question, how does this vacuum cleaner know where the kitchen is? This is another thing about this model. It has a laser which scans your home the first time that you set it up and it creates a map of your home. And this map is almost 98% accurate. Once this vacuum cleaner has created a map of your house of the setting of your house it will also try to create a path which it will follow in the future to indicate the places where it will be vacuuming and or mopping this path can be created by the vacuum cleaner itself or you can help it by setting the path yourself via the app that you can download for this specific model this model promises that the map will at least be 98% accurate and it will co correspond with your real home layout. If the robot won't, cannot finish the job because the battery is low, it will automatically return to the charging dock. Once it's fully recharged, it will, it will go back to the exact same spot what it left to pick it up. If you have a small apartment, this probably will never happen, but it can be very handy if your house is big. Mike just reminded me that one of the added values of having one of these robotic vacuum cleaner that creates a map of your house is that it doesn't have to be led by a light or anything else. So it can even work at night because it doesn't need light. It doesn't function by camera that's leading it, but it functions by the way the setting of the map is stored in its memory. The noise level on this specific model is divided in three categories. And it depends on what you like. And of course, the more noise, the harder it works. Yeah, and depending on what type of uh, carpeting you have. Yeah, Mike, did you guys get that? It depends also on what kind of floor do you have. If it's wooden floor, then things will go a little bit smoother. If it's carpet, then of course, it will need extra power, an extra boost to do the job. The way this vacuum cleaner works is it has side brushes 
that helps it get to those edges where you normally won't be able to get with uh, a traditional vacuum cleaner. And it also has brushes uh, underneath that do suck the, the dust right into the dustbin. So it works on, on all sides and beneath, which increases the chance of not missing a lot of dust. What this model That's also has removed. is that uh, it shares with you all kind of notifications in uh, audio. Notifications like it's about to start to clean, uh, it's going back to the dock to charge, and you know, things like that. Notifications that you would expect. The dust capacity on this one is 480 milliliter. And like I said, this one does not only vacuum, but also mop. And for that, it has a water tank capacity of 160 milliliter. This model does not only work on wooden floor, but also on uh, carpet floor, different carpet floor types. But it's recommended that you buy an extra, an extra accessory to help it, um, you know, not get stuck in the fabric of the carpet. On an average, this uh, vacuum cleaner will work a total of 150 minutes before it needs to be recharged fully again. If you download the app, you will also be able to schedule when the um, Roborock S6 robotic vacuum cleaner should do its job, which is really handy, especially if you don't want to have it in your way and you want it to do its job especially after you leave the house so that can be that is possible to schedule it and you can also remote control it that happens via the app via the app you can like i said remote control it let it do a specific job in specific areas so it's not once it's it's going it has to do the whole home you can also just uh how do you say that um Give it specific chore in specific places in your house. And rooms. It, rooms, in specific rooms, specific corners, not even rooms, but you can just specific service that you um, can line out for it. And uh, once you store it via the app in its memory, you only have to indicate where it should go to and it will go there and do its job as we will be showing you in a screen recording that we did of uh, some stuff that we were doing in, uh, doing in the app. Another thing that you can do via this app is real-time tracking, which means you can follow its movement while looking in the app to see what it is, what it does, and if it needs to be adjusted, you can do that uh, based on what you see on the screen.
So what you see here, I'm holding the app in my hand, see? And for the sake of this video, for this bit, we gave it a specific area where this should vacuum. And that's exactly what it's doing. And I'm doing a live, a real-time tracking. See? And there it is. Vacuuming until that specific area that I gave it is completely covered. And another thing that you can do is block specific areas. If you have some delicate stuff in some corner that you do not want this uh, vacuum cleaner to go to, it can be for different reasons. It can be different kind of stuff that you have there. You can create a blockade and turn that corner in a restricted area. All that you can do via the app and the vacuum cleaner will know that that place is a no-go area for this. And it won't go there and it won't clean there. If you have a big house with different floors, this robotic vacuum cleaner will be able to store more than one map of the house, one, one of the layout. It will be able to restore different layers of different uh, layouts in its memory. So it can be very handy, again, if you have different floors, a bigger house with different floors. Another thing what I forget to tell you is that once it is set in the carpet mode, meaning that you have a carpet and not a wooden floor, it will know that it will create an extra boost to be able to handle that specific surface that it will be uh, working on, which is the carpet. Like I said, it's not as smooth as a wooden floor. So it will be needing an extra boost. And this specific model knows when that it's necessary. And again, to help it, you guys, if you want to get this for the, uh, the carpet floor, please look up the extra accessory that you can get specifically for a carpet floor. And finally, some measurements. This robot, robotic vacuum cleaner, weighs about 3.6 kilograms, is about 35 centimeter wide, and about 10 centimeter high. Since it was released in May of 2019, which is about seven months ago, more or less, you might find some good deals if you're interested and you wanna get one for yourself. Maybe another thing that you guys should know if you consider buying this is that when it comes to, when it comes to mopping, the Roborock SX has a water tank with a switch that adjusts the amount of water that you need depending on how you want to use it. And um, another fine thing about this specific function is that you don't have to clean the, the floor first to have it uh, mop. So it, it does the two in one. It does the vacuuming and the, the mopping in one, which is ideal. So you don't have to do any preparations for it to go ahead and mop your floor. So although we haven't tried it out yet because we don't have a home with different floors, I've read online that some people say that they weren't able to make different maps of different floors. What they were able to do is of the same floor a bigger map with different rooms, with many rooms. So you might want to check this if this is something that's really important uh, to decide your choice. You might want to look into this further. In conclusion, what can I tell you? Mike loved gadgets. And um, so I think, and I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not speaking on behalf of Mike, but Mike is really into the gadgets. So I think that's one of the reasons that he loved to get this thing. The other thing is that it does help keep the house clean at all time. So it is a good thing. It did a great job on vacuuming. Not the perfect job that I have to say. It's not the perfect cleaning, uh, vacuuming job that you will see, but it did a good job. And it did a wonderful job, or I should say better job than vacuuming on the mopping when it comes to mopping. So that's my opinion. What is your opinion, Mike? I love it. Okay. Well, there you have it. Short and sweet. Mike loves it. <laughs>
I don't know. I'm I'm a more traditional guy, so I probably will every now and then go to the uh, traditional vacuum cleaner. Yeah, of course. I I think you you still need to do that, but for everyday cleaning, it's fine. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you will still do have to do. Yeah, I mean, know. if you're like us, if you want things to be very very uh, uh, you know uh, neat and 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 tidy, every now and then you will have to do. Uh, the vacuuming the old-fashioned way and mopping the old-fashioned way. Yeah, you know, we have a wooden floor and we have this uh, V motif between the planks we have on the floor and with cats that are running around. It's, it's through the entire house we have this uh, this floor, so we, we have no carpets or whatever. Um, and the cats always bring these um, uh, this litter from the litter box. Uh, so, this vacuum cleaner we have cats that run around. Sometimes they, they have litter stuck between their toes. Uh, so there's always something on the floor. Either dust that it's being created as a result of this litter that gets stuck in their toes or a little bit of the, the actual litter that sometimes take out. So of course you have all the necessary th things that you can do to um, you know, increase this, but still, their pets, they have uh, fur, so there will always be something between the toes. Uh, that's what well, the main thing that creates dust in our home. So for that, this is perfect to keep it tidy every day at all times. True, and I think you still need to vacuum. Uh, well, we will see. We've installed this thing yesterday, so we're, we're not sure. Uh, Dust bin when that removed. Will be. It will be at least once a week or at least once every two weeks. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how clean it uh, it keeps. We've set it on a timer, so it runs every day at ten o'clock when uh, when we're at work. <laughs> um, so we'll see if if it uh, does a good job to to keep the house clean. But from what I've seen so far, and I've seen it working two times, uh, it's actually good. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, don't get me wrong; it is good. Maybe it's just me getting used to letting go and let this thing do the vacuuming and, and the mopping. But uh, I think the main important thing that decides how good this thing will do its job is, does it have free space? The more free space it has, the better it can do its yeah, job. That I think. I think that's yeah. one huge thing that decides, you know, that has a huge impact on uh, the outcome. So. Yeah. Overall, it is really a great gadget and it's a great thing and it does its job. Like I said, from what I've seen this morning, the vacuuming was good, but the mopping was better if I have to judge it on both functions. So, but again, as I just said, make sure that uh, there are no, not too many blockades in its way. I think that was it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again. Have a wonderful day. Bye, Hoos. Bye, Mike. Charging.